Hey amigos, I bet you'd like to know what I'm doing. Well, there's a method to my madness here. I wish I had a balloon, but I don't. Okay, it's got a little bit of air in it. Now, check this out. Okay, but back to what I was talking about. This is uh, a mason jar. Everybody uses them for canning. But I bought a mason jar sealer. And um, the experiment is that, according to the directions, the uh, food saver will uh, pull the pull a mason jar or a bag down to uh, minus 24 inches of mercury. Now the moon or outer space is about minus 30 and a percentage uh, inches of mercury, depending on you know how high up you start with or if you start at sea level, you know. Okay, that thing sort of jammed down in there. There. Let's see what kind of vacuum this thing uh, will pull. Then it will determine if uh, this $14 mason jar attachment was uh, was worth its money. amount of air that's left. Okay. So what do you think? Did it how many times did it double? Every time that bag size or every time the glove doubles in volume, that means the uh, air inside has been drawn down 50%. So if it was we're at sea level here, well the Seattle Tacoma area, um, and if uh, you draw it down to say 15 inches of mercury, minus 15 inches of mercury that is, uh, you would get a double, doubling, but uh, this thing here it looked like it increased in size by uh, probably three times. So cut 15 again uh, in half, that's another seven, that brings it up to um, about 21 I think, or yeah. Well, anyway, uh, so it brings it, according to the Food Saver manual, it brings it down to nine, minus 24 inches of mercury. So that leaves about three and a half to four inches of mercury left for any kind of spoilage to occur with. So uh, it, it's actually quite unlikely. So the lid's on here pretty good, but periodically I'm able to take my fingernails and just sort of pry it off. Okay. So. So I think that's probably a fairly accurate measurement. Minus 24 inches of mercury. Because it uh, did increase in volume quite a few times. Probably three times. So, not too shabby. So I didn't buy it to uh, blow up gloves with, <laughs> obviously. Instead, I actually got it to uh, preserve like food, rice, things like that. For example, this is this really good uh, uh, wild rice, brown rice, and uh, a little bit of wheat. Um, I can't remember. I think there's red rice in here too, but it makes an excellent uh, rice uh, variety to uh, to make your beans and rice with. Throw your sealer on there, or your lid on there. Yeah.
like it's sealed. Now yeah, let's get excited. Do something reckless. First let me make sure it's good and tight. Ah, that puppy is tight. Then take your little sealing ring and give it just a gentle squeeze. But the majority of the force holding this thing in is the vacuum itself. But if you squeeze it like so, that's easily enough to uh, make it totally sealed. So then, wheat gluten. I'm a lefty. And this is 0.90529. There. Now it probably would last quite a while in this in, it's in this environment. It doesn't get really hot or damp in the uh, western Washington area here, but uh, with this thing bringing it down to negative 24 inches of mercury vacuum, um, this will stay fresh a good deal longer. Put this in my stores there. And there you have it. Well, that's about all I got for you. With the, with the back